Hi, my name is Ethan Rowland from Appleseed Permaculture, and I'm here at the Ashokan Center in Olive Bridge, New York. The Ashokan Center is the future of sustainable community and sustainable food production for the entire Hudson River Valley. Um, I've been working as a permaculture designer for this site, and I want to take you around, give you a little tour, show you the nursery, and talk a little bit about why this place has a huge amount of uh, possibility for regenerating our future generations. So let's take a look around. I'm going to give you a tour of the nursery. So come on in. Um, first, maybe, I guess I could tell you a little bit about permaculture, perhaps. Um, and permaculture is a sustainable design system that uh, really brings together all the different pieces of sustainability. So, uh, like here we've got, this is a little permaculture pie, and you see some of the different pieces that are on there, right? We've got green architecture, natural building, rotational grazing, composting, organic farming, perennial vegetables, animals and bees, alternative currencies, community living. And that's what permaculture does, it pulls it all together, right? So that when I'm out designing a house, designing a residence, or when we're designing the whole farm system, I'm not just saying, hey, maybe you should uh, put some solar panels on that roof over there. See that? Check that out. We should put some solar panels over there, yeah. And I'm not just saying uh, we should put a little garden over there, which would be good. We do need a little organic garden over there. What we really need is to pull them all together. So I want solar panels up on that roof, and I want them catching rainwater, right? And that rainwater we'll be using to wash vegetables in the kitchen there, in the colonial kitchen on site, and then that gray water will get cycled out through our constructed wetlands. It'll clean it up entirely, and then we'll use it in the organic garden. And we'll be eating food out of the garden, getting us good energy to go out and work on the long-term tree crops that are going to be producing food and medicine, and eventually they'll produce timber that we can use to fix the roof that the solar panels are sitting on. That's permaculture. Cycling these things together, closing all the loops so that no waste is produced and we're living within a sustainable system. The whole site has been designed as an organic edible landscape. So uh, that every single tree that you see and every bush and every vine that's climbing up and all the roots would be completely edible. Right, and the goal is to produce 100% of the fruit and nuts and vegetables that people eat when they come to the site. Okay, so let's check out this. This is a this is an incredible tree. This is this is a plant from our heritage. This is a hybrid American chestnut. Okay, and it's going to produce these incredible. I mean, look at these nuts. This is like this is a lot of food, and these are super sweet, really nutritious, high starch. You can make flour out of these. You can bake with them, and they're just great to roast on the fire and eat. But so these chestnuts, each of these plants will grow to like 75 feet tall and 75 feet wide and just be producing a massive amount of food every year without any input of fossil fuels um, and it will be totally organic. So we've got a whole couple sets of rows, 50 or 80 trees, chestnut trees, that are going to be used and planted out across the whole site. This is a pine nut tree that will grow up but very much like a white pine, but it produces these delicious edible pine nuts just like the ones you get in the store that are really high in oil and delicious to eat. Um, we're also going to have fruits. Check this out, like the hardy kiwi. This is this delicious edible kiwi that grows in, in north cold climate. It looks just like, you know, just like a normal kiwi. It has its, in its smooth skin, so you just pop it in your mouth like a grape, high in vitamin C, and this can yield up to 100 pounds per 100 square feet. So in an area less than this, we could be getting hundreds and hundreds of pounds of fruit off of these hardy kiwis. We'll also be having um, apples and pears and peaches and plums and persimmons and nectarines and medlars and blackberries and blueberries and bilberries and currants and red currants and black currants all mixed into this super abundant forest garden scene. So to come to the Ashokan Center and learn more about what's happening here, you can check out ashokancenter.org and watch part two of this video for more information about the farm.